What is up, you guys? Welcome to The Collective. My name is uh, Homelander. And in this video, we're just going to kind of be talking and you know talking about random stuff because I've kind of been gone for like two or three weeks. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so it's basically been like three weeks I think since my last video and I was planning on coming out with some more content But I ended up getting the The sickness if you know what I mean <laughs> Got real sick and I wasn't feeling very well and It sucks. I'm over it now, but um, you know things are still feeling a little bit funny um, but, uh, yeah, I ended up getting it at a store that shall remain nameless, but let's just say they sell video games on a nationwide level. <laughs> <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it was really unfortunate. A lot of people that were there that day ended up getting really sick. And, uh, yeah, I basically ended up bringing it home. Everybody at my house got sick, so that totally sucked. But, hey, uh, you know, what can we do about it? Almost makes me wanna laser beam somebody in the face, but uh, we're not gonna do that. Cause I'm homeless. So uh, yeah, what have I been doing these last three weeks? Honestly, first week I couldn't really do much of anything, so I wasn't really playing any video games or doing anything like that. But when I did get back into it, I was playing Metroid Dread like crazy. I played that game so much. Ugh. I'm still not done with it. Actually, I just finished the game, but I haven't 100 percent it yet. Um, so I'm probably going to go back to that and do that. And um, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. But apparently there's like a hard mode on it, which I'm just like, the game is already hard enough as it is. Like, who the heck is going to want to go back and play hard mode? Or yeah, a psychopath. But uh, yeah, so the game is awesome. And I honestly believe that game should be top contender for game of the year I couldn't really think of any other games this year that came out that were as amazing as Metroid Dread I mean 10 out of 10 in my books absolutely 10 out of 10 and I'm really glad I got that collector's edition too so shout out to uh, the store that shall remain nameless for that yeah other than that um, I did get my awesome OLED switch a little dusty but I got the Zelda Joy-Cons on it and um, this thing is actually really weird because I am an absolutely huge fan like even bigger than when it first got announced of the OLED switch like you play this thing man handheld it is the way to go and I have a giant 77 inch OLED TV in my living room and sometimes I'm just like man I just rather play this handheld real like that's that's really how awesome it, this thing is. That's how awesome this screen is. I mean, it's so vibrant, super colorful. Like the colors, they, there's been a lot of people that have said that the colors have felt a little, like a little too saturated, a little too vivid. But honestly, I haven't necessarily felt like that. Like not including when I was sick. You know, when I was sick, I couldn't really help it. You know, everything was just like super sensitive. But um, other than that. OLED switch, oh man, I cannot sing this thing's praises anymore if I wanted to. Obviously you guys know that it would have been a lot better if it was a pro switch. Um, and there is a lot of rumors going on about that right now, which is just insane because this just dropped. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that um, they do do that. Uh, unfortunate because like who wants to buy a $350 switch and then go out next year and then basically buy another one unless you're me which you just end up buying switches just because you just you just want them all I mean it's like Pokemon to me honestly but um yeah so I've been having a lot of fun with this thing I've been playing a lot undocked definitely if I were you and if you were in a position to where you don't have a switch at all definitely get this if you do I'd say probably skip on it for now 
unless you really like playing undocked if you like playing undocked then this is definitely the switch for you and you know gamestop is doing a really good deal where you get like i think 220 dollars if you trade in your old switch to get this one so there is that ah and uh yeah the last topic i wanted to talk about is nintendo switch online expansion pass <sighs> As I'm really, you know, I'm Homelander, I'm not really aggressive, I try not to be, I try to be a hero, but, you know, I just, it just really just fills me with rage why Nintendo thought it would be a good idea to charge $50 and 80 if you're in the family plan for this expansion pass. Right now, as, at the moment, absolutely not worth it. Why did I end up getting it? Because I'm freaking stupid. You stupid! Honestly, like, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I really wanted to get it because of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, even though I have it on the 3DS, and the 3DS is technically the HD version of it, I mean, it looks 10 times better, it runs better, everything about it is a thousand times better. If it wasn't for the fact that I just, I wanted to play it and I wanted to see what it was actually like and see what it felt like to play online with friends and family and stuff like that, I wouldn't have got it. If it wasn't for the fact that it came with the Animal Crossing uh, DLC, which I'm super excited about, I wouldn't have got it. It's just not worth it. Like, I, I, I don't feel like the value is there. And you've been seeing all these video videos online about how basically people have been having a really hard time playing online with this thing. Like I'm talking buggy sounds, like really bad lag. I've been fortunate enough to not have to deal with any of that stuff. But still, like you're, you're paying this $50. I mean, that's basically what Sony and Xbox is charging. But their, their services are solid. You can chat on there, you can voice chat, you can message people. Like, there's so many things that you can do with it that, that you know, I'll just put it this way. There's so many things on that online subscription service that Sony and Xbox and Microsoft have had for the last, like, almost 10, 15 years since the Xbox 360 and P PS3 era. This is how long this has been going on. And they've had that for that long. And Nintendo is basically like, hey, we want to make that money too, but we're not going to give y'all anything. It just makes no sense. And yes, the games are awesome. It is so cool to be able to play Nintendo 64. So cool to be able to play Sega games, even though half the Sega games you can basically buy it on that Sega Genesis collection. <sighs> but what is the point of having an online subscription service? If the online sucks, what is the point of it? The games are awesome. We get it. But it's an online service. And the online sucks. I don't get it. I'm just gonna, you know, laser beam somebody in the face, really. At this point, that's all that's left to do. Really. But, uh, yeah... Alright guys, it is so good to be back. I'm going to be coming out with weekly videos starting next week, hopefully. Um, and I'm just going to keep it going because we are so close. Guys, we are so close to hitting a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely insane. We just need about 150, I believe. That's like nothing. You could literally tell all your friends right now, hey, go and hit that sub button real quick. Help this guy out. And that would be amazing. No threats either. No laser beams, no super strength, or, you know, no letting you fall off a plane to your death. Not like that. No threats, okay? Just help me out real quick. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you on the next video. And as always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.